The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you grinding problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 93. You get the Nasdaq off 52. S&P's down 12 and a half. Gold. Gold contract up 1080, trading at uh, 1354. Now, this has caught quite a bit. And it's off the highs, man. It was over 1360 at uh, one point. Uh, uh, um, 1361 maybe. Um, yeah. Quite a, quite a run. Big Especially because dollar is dollar up too, right? It is up. Yeah. It so is I saw up. that. So. So when you take a look at this gold market, folks, you know, it, it's been going after this high we of 13, get there, we got there. 1361, okay. so, yeah, so yeah. 1362.20. Now, what you're going to have out here, you're going to have monster volume, which is so cool. Okay. Because it looks to me that you're actually going to have an ABC structure up, bringing you up into the, uh, let's see, this, yeah, 331. You need 331,000 contracts for confirmed ABC structure up, and... We, we can get one pretty easy. Already. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So that your, your B point on that is uh, what? That's thirteen fifty two, and your A is uh, it's pretty good. It's twelve seventy four. So you're talking almost eighty bucks. Yes. And that would get you uh, fourteen hundred. Fourteen hundred. Fourteen hundred. Easy enough. Sounds yeah, good. Totally, man. <laughs> pretty wild. So the, uh, the silver market also caught a bid. That was it's only up like seven cents right now. It was up twenty cents. That has volume behind it too. Uh, notes and bonds, higher price, lower yield. You get the 10-year note up to 127.14, 30-year up 10, 154.18. And this is where the divergence comes in. And the dollar is still up. The dollar is up 261 ticks, trading 96.770. Euro is at 112. Yen's at 108. And you get the pound at 126. You know, if we go inside the uh, NDX 100, you're going to see uh, it's, uh, this started last night. Uh, uh, AVGO, yeah, Av uh, it, Broadcom. Yeah. Broadcom. How those chip stocks doing this morning? Exactly. Not too good. You know, uh, that, this, you know, this is uh, interesting, man. Uh, only down 17. It was down, it, was a, it was down 25 this morning. Yeah, it was at 257, right? It was, yeah, 257 was the low. Yeah. So, you know, this is going to be pounded into this low. You know, you, you get some volume already, man. We're already at the three points. Can we go into the news for them? Yeah. Um, because it's driven. They came up with their earnings, right? So what, uh, yeah, they, they brought they brought, or what? they brought their yearly yeah. down by two billion. That's what I was waiting to see exactly. Yeah. And um, I saw an analyst on Bloomberg this morning talking about like, okay, so is this a big Huawei? And Huawei is only not even a billion dollars, so there's other stuff going on right. there. And I'm sure Huawei is a big part of it, but that's the the scarier part is that it's not just Huawei. It's not a one-off. It's that there's a slowdown. There's In general, two billion dollars, yeah. man. So let's yeah. Well, we'll go like this. We'll go inside the NDX, and I suspect the chip stocks are going to be on the right-hand side. Uh, well, you get there. You go. You get Advanced Micro. That's down a buck. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, almost four percent. Yeah, right? three point so, six. Yeah. Skyworks is down at three point six. That's a big. Um, supplier of Apple, uh, Fast and All. That's a da I'm not quite sure what Fast and All does. What is this company doing? We talk about it enough. I, I know. Too. I know. Construction. Oh, I see. It sells industrial construction supplies in the wholesale and retail business. Uh, wholesale and retail fashion. Oh, fashion. Yes, that was the end of that sentence. Oh. Right. In a, yeah. Oh no, in a wholesale just... and retail fashion. So it's just saying that oh, it doesn't yeah, hotel, it, it doesn't okay, retail. Right, okay. Right. Uh, okay. So our sales come from uh, fluid transfer. Hydraulic pots, oh, pneumatic power, janitorial, electrical, welding supplies. Okay, so well, there you industrial go, thread fasteners. That's where they get their symbol from, I guess. Thread fasteners, like okay. screws, nuts, bolts. I oh, mean, yeah. just legitimate. Uh, There's good money in that, folks. I bet. <laughs> Those yeah. little things all cost money. Yeah, and you know the and that's machines can pump yeah. them out like so quick. It's unbelievable. Other sales come from right fluid transfer parts for hydraulics. So yeah. it seems like parts, you know, yeah. where you need parts those screws, general. you need those if, right. you're, if you're manufacturing something, yeah. you might need the parts for it. That's totally. it. Somebody's got to send everything. you bolts. Who's, totally. the, who's the person totally. making the bolts? Yeah. Is it stainless steel? Is it not stainless steel? Sure. The above. Notes and bonds. Let's go take a look at that note and bond market. So, uh, now so we had retail sales this morning, right? Uh, yeah. Strong number. And that did. That turned this around. I mean, the note market and bond market was a lot higher. We were at uh, 127.21 okay. this morning. You're at 127.13. Now, that's still going to be fine. It still wants higher price, you know. Um, we hit 
Uh, we didn't hit a low today. Uh, the low is 2.071. Okay. We're at 2.079. I believe if we do it this way, what you're going to see, which is the reverse, meaning what the yield is. Look at this. So that's what 2.0517. Yes. And today we're at. Did we get it? 2.0563. Nah, we're way off now. <laughs> yeah. Well, what you have here, this is the, you know, this is the, to me, this is the building cause, folks, to get into this 1.73. Um, so it's going to be really intriguing. It's an important level, no matter it, what, it right? Is. It's it is. Because it's hanging down there. Because it, it's hang, it, you can see that what it's doing, oh, yeah. it's hanging right at this 2.0144. Yeah. You know, you break that, and, and it's game down to the bottom of that strength. And yeah. the top of that strength is 2.15. Okay. You know, once you start digging into it, you know, it's still a little, it's still up in the air because because of this swing point right here. But, sure. you know, bottom line is that the way that, the way that gold's reacting, now this is, gets really interesting. This must have had to do with uh, when that video come out, because it, it's 2 o'clock in the morning that when I show you the... What, Sorry, what video? Go ahead. Well, yeah. the video came out, uh, I don't know if the Pentagon released it. Of oh, the, for the oil? For the attack yes, on the ships. Yes, I saw that. Ships. Okay. I and it, that happened. might have happened at 2 in the morning, because when you look at 2 in the morning, what you're going to see is that silver took off as well as uh, yeah, 220. That's when that uh, we get the spike from uh, 1363, 1369. You had some volume, and that's really unusual. I mean, you know, because normally what you see is is the the 820 in the morning. Sure. You know, but what we did do is that when those numbers came out, the retail numbers, you can see they they brought gold down. Yes. That's uh, you know, so. Bottom line, though, is that you're gonna you're gonna have higher price. Um, well, you've had a higher price in the gold market. You're going to have the volume behind it, so that still wants a higher price, man. So we were talking about the basketball game, right? Yeah, right. Uh, pretty cool. Congrats Toronto, to Toronto. Yeah. Those Canadians And that's the first for them, too. Yes, I believe yeah, so. Right, right. Quite a story in terms of the season. You know, Kawhi Leonard, them getting them from him for a year. And all the speculation was, how are you going to trade for him? You're going to get him for a year, and then he's definitely going to leave. Um, that guy took a lot of flack. They're really? Oh, so yeah, because I you train for somebody. I didn't know what that was. So you train for somebody, they have a year left on their contract. Yeah. That's it. You, 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 and they're getting... That made it, though. Uh, that's, that's what... And they made a, a calculated wager that maybe they could be able to keep them, right? Right. Even if they didn't, maybe. But the plan was maybe they get a good run, that maybe they bring somebody else in sure. even, or they build around them. It's really going to be interesting now. Will he stay? Will he stay? Yeah, right. right. Um, and, you know, he should be able to do whatever he wants to do, man. He already brought him a championship, right? It's, it'd be tough if you make the championship, then you leave. It's like, oh, he came so close, but oh. he won him a championship. I if know, he wants man. to run, hey, he's, he, he got it done. Either way, they're all, they're all winners. And he's, uh, I believe, I didn't even, I watched the end of the game, I didn't see the end of it. I'm assuming he won MVP for okay. the finals. Um, and if he did, he already won it in San Antonio for the finals MVP. Really? And he's only the third player to win a finals MVP okay. for two different teams. The other two players, I'm gonna, it's LeBron, okay. and it's either Wilt or Kareem, where it's like pretty, Sweet. yeah, it's uh, quite, a, quite a third, third Monster person. Monster names. Yeah. NVIDIA, NVDA, this is another chip one you're gonna see. That baby's getting, you know, some selling pressure in it this morning. Uh, down 440, you're at uh, 143. It's been, a one-way trip uh, down from this uh, 193. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials down 66. Nasdaq's up 40. S&P's up 9.5. Come right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets. Global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien have just announced a special webinar on June 19th for all subscribers to the TAS Profile Scanner. Steve and Tom will break down the trade matrix, market breadth, heat grid, as well as the three-step process you can use with the TAS Profile Scanner to identify market movers and how to capitalize on that move. For all the details and to get started with the TAS Profile Scanner today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. With a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. Go sign up today. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow right now uh, is down to 66. Nasdaq's up 40. S&P's are up 10. Down 10, rather. Uh, and if we uh, go take a look at uh, Beyond Meat here. Can't go a day without talking about Beyond. I'm telling it's you, man. It's rocking and rolling again. This is up $14.60. You think they get some premium priced in those options, man, and when I'm moving 10% 10, oh. 10 a day? Seriously, man. <laughs> Seriously. And, you know, this is... Uh, <laughs> It's, it's just going to it's going to be wild just watching how this whole thing shakes out. Yeah. Because we, we do have a story out here, folks. This is pretty interesting, actually. Is that you got? I'm this, sure, there's more than one out there. For oh me. yeah. It's amazing. Well, this, now, is, this one. Yeah. Uh, what this is about is that impossible burger shortages hit White Castle and Red Robin. So you get large restaurant chains Red Robin and White Castle are reporting shortages of impossible foods popular meat-free patties, even as the plant-based food producer embarks on a nationwide expansion with Burger King. Maybe now, that's why they're experiencing yeah. a shortage. <laughs> not, not, um, go ahead, yeah. Yeah, big time. Yeah. So this is the calls to a dozen Red Robins and the same number of White Castles on Thursday found that only two locations of each chain had Impossible Foods patties available with no consensus from the others. Um, on when they will get them back. Individual locations in New York uh, to Hillsborough or Oregon with the burger on their menu told customers this week that they are fresh out. Uh, now, that being said, as you go through this article, you're going to see that then they, uh, once they made this deal with Burger King, this uh, writer also went to Burger King, and guess what? There's no problem with Burger King. They're yeah. everywhere. They coincide with the arrival of the Impossible Burger Whopper, the Impossible Whopper at Burger King. The Whopper. Yep, tested in St. Louis in April before expanding to cities. Now, Impossible, this is the competitor, you yes. know, to be on. I, right. You went in. They're a private company still. Um, so Burger King, owned by restaurant brands, doesn't seem to be affected by the shortage. Every Burger King location contacted by Bloomberg, including St. Louis, Miami, Alabama, Georgia, um, they all got them. Yeah. And uh, Burger King did not immediately respond to requests. Yeah, why would you respond to comment? Let, let, the, it. let it speak for itself, right. man. They must love that. Uh, and we're saying, you know, Burger King, kudos to their supply chain management, man, that they made sure, you know. And, and look at this. Impossible Foods told Bloomberg this, earlier this week that its products are now on the menu at 9,000 restaurants. Imagine how many burgers you need to go to, to go 9,000 yeah. restaurants. And what I also wonder is that... Um, 
so how long do these stay good for? Are they, do they give them to them frozen? Because yeah. you may see more variance. What if you, you sell like 100 one day and you sell 10 the next? Whereas, you, you know, I mean, yeah, there might yeah. be that type of variation early on, whereas they can probably pinpoint exactly how many patties they're going to sell on any given Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah. They're probably not quite there yet not, um, not for this yeah. type of a product. So this it. is pea-based burgers. Okay. Peas. So you better like peas, folks. <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to definitely try one. Just I heard them about talking that. about it today that uh, they're like the meat market, something like 270 billion dollars. Um, when all those plant-based drinks and talking about almond milk came on the market, yes. they took about 15 percent. You hear this conversation on Bloomberg? So those, I, those drinks took about 15 percent of, of the market. The market okay. Maybe over 10 years. That's what it, yeah. it's some capacity. I'm not sure this is a comparable example. That's yeah. going to be the point. But they say you know if you take 15 percent of the meat market, monster. Excuse me, that's like 40 billion dollars. I don't know if that's going to how be cuz I I'm I'm okay with going away from drinking so much milk in the morning for yeah. coffee or stuff but I still just am going to have meat occasionally but I might add that I might have this right. instead of something else you know I don't think you're just going to try it And then you out. might you know the people that are vegetarians they'll try it too. they will too and they're yeah. not in the meat market that's right. it's really going to be an addition like I don't know if you're going to see a decrease in the red meat market you just this just might be added to yeah. the diet as yeah. they come in but it's pretty interesting. Things are going to change in 10 years, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Got to be interesting to see how they taste. Yeah, I'm excited. To, I'm going to try one the next time. Uh, I'm going to look for them in the grocer, try and, yeah. Yeah. Grill it up. I want to see what they look on. like. I know, exactly. Oh, they, look like, they look like a patty, man. Do they? Yeah. If they put it in a regular package, I think you probably wouldn't know the better. That's, That's why those meat producers are all up in arms. That yeah. They got them right next to the, the beef. So let's take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here. We have Facebook up three dollars. Apple's down two fifty. Um, you get uh, let's see. Well, Broadcom is that the big one? That's down seventeen bucks. Nvidia's down four and a half dollars. Uh, let's go take a look at Apple. So you know, you, down a bit. Huh? Yeah. You, well, you had you know, and this is going to be. People are trying to figure out. Okay, even the Broadcom, you know, inside the chip sector, are right. they getting affected? Well, sure. they definitely took Skyworks down. Yeah. Um, you know, yep. we'll see whether they get any volume behind this move today. And it would make sense, right? If a company like Apple is going to go gangbusters selling products and phones, well, the chips are going to do well. Right. So if the chips are pulling back, well, who, who's not ordering all these chips? No, no, no. It's probably going to be at least a part of the mobile. Um, right. Yeah. All right. Uh, if we go take a look at the uh, NDX, so the Qs right now, um, you know, you're down at 5.9 million. Now, we've been messing around here for, you know, the last five days up at this level. And this level is bringing you into the, the downdraft from the 10th. That's, and, you know, yesterday was anemic volume, but he, so at the close. So check this out. At the I saw. I was I watching know. the show. I was in the, the den. Go the, ahead. They, yeah, the they're saying in the den, you know, they, they, they got to start buying it. They, what, 354. Uh, that, Peterson. That yeah, was great. That's great. I was, I was yeah. cracking up. I was. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I know. Why haven't I been doing that? And what, what Peter was talking about, one of our tigers in the den folks, he was talking about the aspect of. He had so many days in a row that if you, if you take a look at this, it is, buy it for the last five minutes. Buy it, exactly. show, show up to work at three fifty. Right. Three fifty. Right. Give yourself ten and buy it at five. Uh, and, no, too funny. And there's there the there's go. the the that's the uh, E minis. That, that's a, that's, so a, that's, a, that's a monster number. That's that's eight points, you know, oh, in, huge, in yeah. a heartbeat. Um, maybe even ten. Is it ten? Is it? So where I'm looking, the low uh, is twenty eight eighty eight. It's uh, 10 points, 98 to 98. 98. Yeah. Yep. So that, 10 points is 500 bucks, 50 bucks a, and that is, these a are, point on the e mini so These are 10 the, minute bars, and that's yeah. the final basically the, 10 it, minutes. Let's it, break it down pop. and see how even on a, where are we on a minute? We'll oh, back. you love the minute because we'll he had the minute. Two days. It was yeah. a monster. Um, let's see how many minutes you actually had to. Perfect. I like breaking it down like that, right? And look at that one bar, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, the final minute. The final minute really got it. Yeah. You only got to work one minute for that. And that, and that came in on the NASDAQ also, folks. And then right after the close, um, so it, the, the Qs closed like three pennies over the high of the prior day. And then two seconds later... It was right underneath it. So, so nice. what had happened? They got the print, huh? They well because of because of the uh, Lavco, uh, because of Broadcom. Broadcom, Broadcom okay. came out uh, and, then, yeah. and then that took the oh, MDX I'm down, sure. like sure. It, you know, and then about a heartbeat. Yeah. It actually didn't do as much damage to the futures, the Nasdaq futures, when they reopened. Um, you know, but this morning you can see you get some pressure in the, inside these futures. Uh, yeah. We go take a look at these, and the thing that you know we've talked about is that the it's 
these chips, man, can take the market, well, the NDX up and down and, and the NASDAQ composite, and they tend to start dragging the market down, period. It would make sense for the yeah. same reason we just talked about Apple, you know? I mean, it's, they're it's, all in the same business in some capacity when you start talking about chips that make phones, that make computers, that, you know, Apple, et cetera, it's, it's, it's you know, the whole supply chain. Yeah, there's no doubt. Let me rearrange this for them and there. Yeah. I think we might have had that one. Get it. Just, just for the uh, silver. Let's go take a look at the silver market out here. So silver also caught a nice bid. Came off that high. Um, really came off that high. But look at that juice, man. You get seventy-eight thousand. It's, it's a good scene. They can, can try to keep selling it up, but guess what? You are pushing that swing. Last time we were up there, you had one hundred and five thousand. We're at seventy-eight. We're going to do more than that. So. Hang on, volatility's coming at you. Okay. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow right now up six. Down 61, Nasdaq off 41, S&P's off 10. Uh, let's go take a look at uh, platinum for one of our tigers out here. So let's see. So we got. What's the trade at 355 today? I'm going to tune in for your show. And <laughs> we'll ask Peter. In the yeah, day. totally. <laughs> so, you know, bottom line, platinum still needs the strength. You know, it hasn't. You know, you you've broken a small downtrend, but 
you need, you know, when you go back here, you get, what, the, fir the third, we, we go up in bra volume. That was the first time we got any strength. Um, you know, I like what it actually did in the fifth, even though I gave it up. But you need, an, you need another sign of strength, you know. And Especially as you have gold rocking and rolling today yeah. to, to be actually um, down right now. No, but you get a strong dollar, so there's something going on individual for gold for sure. And I think I looked. I'm not sure. I was trying to find the the time when that story came out about the Iran. It might have been last yeah. night at 9:30. So that might not yeah. have been it. I'm not sure. But uh, and you can see they're 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 moving. They're selling down gold again. I mean, it's this is just wild. The thing that's going to be wild, folks, is that I suspect this is still going to be an ABC structure up because uh, I think it's what did we say 333,000. If that's what it is, it's going to take that out. Yeah, 330. And they're 252. So yeah, I would agree. We'll do that 75,000, which yep. is pretty cool. Um, uh, de decent number. I was just going to look at that retail sales. Maybe do they have the number? Because uh, what was it a good number? 0. 0.4 or 0. 0.5? That was a good number. A we're, sp we're spending money. Even, you know, th what's intriguing about that is evidently that uh, there's a lot of companies that are not getting the retail dollar, but the split is, is that evidently the, there's a lot of companies that are. Yeah, they're you know making I mean? up for there's, it. There's, and, there's a split here somewhere. Yeah. Um, and that's, so yeah, retailers posted a broad-based gain with uh, the value of overall sales rising 0.5% from April. Um, this isn't year on year, it's month to month. That's a big, um, and figures for the previous two months were revised higher. Manufacturing output also increased for the first time this year. So with that, excuse me, with that in mind, right, the headline is, Fed cut isn't a slam dunk. I love yeah. how everything is interest rates. Right. Um, which it makes sense. It should. Now, get down. Did they say, they? What, do they, what do they consider retail sales to? You know, like it's, is everything in there? Yeah. Are That's cars a good in there? You know, I'm sure they, they should be. I'm we'll just, pull it up in the next break. Yeah, sales. I will. Okay. Inquiring minds want to know. No, yeah. I want to know. Let's see. So. Okay, so sales of automobile and pot steel advanced 7 tenths of 1% after decreasing 5 tenths in the previous month. Revised upward from a 1.1 drop, so that even is a yeah. So you had a 1.1 drop the previous month. That got revised to only half a percent, and then you had a seven percent gain this month. Yeah. Now that'll get revised next month, though, right? Is that how that works? I think so. Excluding auto, automobiles, and gas, retail sales increased 0.5 percent after a 0.3 percent gain the previous month. Well. Um, still, the cash flow is going. That's that's the bottom the line. The revisions were positive. positive. That one too yeah. was a decline, and now it's a point three for the previous and a point five for this month. Um, the Fed, Powell's going. Come on, man. Why are you going to give me all these conflicting signals yeah. here? Do you not making it easy when um, we get CPI that points to inflation? Right, cuts. Comment on no inflation. Excuse me. No, exactly. That they're going to have to they, cut they early want, in the they week. They want 2%. Man. And then they have retail sales that are strong. And right. say, ah, oh, maybe you don't need to cut. Yeah. That's kind of, it's, this. I saw for the first time, too, uh, headlines. You know, we were always talking about that second. It's more interesting almost talking about yeah. when the market. And right. uh, I believe, can we go into the Fed Fund Futures? Because yeah. I believe it was right around 48%. It which was. Which is close yesterday. enough that it's a coin flip. Because I, I looked at it and, yesterday um, afternoon. September. We're all right. Well, so guess what? This, uh. That yeah, we're at 59. So that went up. We're at 59. That was, that so was my at 48 point, like yesterday. My point is going to be that I saw, and even yesterday it ticked up too. I don't think it just waited for the retail sales, but they had gotten over 50, and I started seeing articles about it getting over 50, and I was like, everyone, it's all about, and it's it's that's it's coming down the line. Um, and you know, the, the, so the the kicker here, folks, it gets really intriguing because there's uh, there's an analyst on uh, Bloomberg on a couple weeks ago, and what he's talking about is that. What people should be aware of is that, like, when, high, when rates go up, the Fed doesn't go up a half a percent. But when rates do go down, the Federal Reserve, don't be surprised if they say, okay, we're just doing a half a percent. Okay. Right? And that would be, you know, I don't expect them to do it, but that would be a kicker beyond belief. Could you imagine? Yeah. Yeah, that would, that would, I, I would be hard-pressed to see. How Let's go to Greg out. in Buffalo, New York. Hey, Greg, what's going on? Hey, how you doing, guys? Good morning, Greg. Um, Greg. I had a question on the gold. Uh, Paul Tudor Jones, I don't know if you're familiar with him, uh, claims this is going to be the trade of the year. He he sees gold going as high as 1,700 because of uh, lower interest rates. I wanted to get your take on that. Yeah, I saw that yesterday. He did a video. You can you can Google a video, folks, with uh, him on um, on Bloomberg. So you know he's one of the 
you know, big money managers out here have been very successful. Um, and, um, you know, my, my take is that the, I don't have the aspect that, okay, you know, we're going to 1700 right now. When, when, I, when I take a look at this, I mean, I'm bullish gold, that's for sure. The real question is going to be, you know, can we take out this consolidation that we've been in, you know, since 2013? And if we do, guess what? Everything is game, meaning even the 1900 is game. Because when you look at this, what you're going to see is that, you know, it's been just a sideways move. That's uh, May of 2013, you know. And what's going to be cool there is that it looks to me like we got an ABC structure on the way up, Greg, right? So if we get that confirmed out here today, your, your high of this whole consolidation, you know, you could say it's 1428. You know, the bottom of that is like the 14, 1377. It's, if you take that out, well, guess what? Your next move up there is is that 1800, man. No, it's you pretty know? remarkable. We haven't seen those highs. I mean, no. 1377 is 2016. You get above that, yeah. you're going back to 2014. I mean, five-year highs, six-year highs, yeah. yeah. And when you look at this, what you're going to see, see, the last time that we just came down from February, you know, through uh, bottom line the last couple of months, that's a very shallow retracement in the context of how markets move. So that's saying that, you know, gold was strong in the first place, even with the dollar at highs. So, yeah, yeah I, I, mean, think we got, I think we got game. I mean, they're coming into this market. I mean, if you, if you watch these gold equities, they've been buying them uh, big time. And I think, uh, you know, I think we got action here, man. What I haven't figured out yet, what I'm trying to figure out is like, like okay, so did it move last night? And it, did it move on, on the... The fear deal, or did it move that people are just saying, okay, as an asset class, rates are going down and I want to buy some. That's, how, that's what you really want to see, folks. You don't want to see that, yeah, you, you know, you get trouble and it just pops because what happens there is that it pops and that comes right back down, you know. So, so I think there's action there, you know. Okay. Uh, thanks a lot for your opinion, guys. I appreciate it. Okay. We appreciate the growling and prowling with us, man. Thanks for the call, Greg. Okay. Buffalo, New York. I, yeah, glad the spring now. I mean, summer now, right? <laughs> hey, Buffalo, that's Buffalo. They get that lake effect, man. They're almost in Canada. Maybe they're celebrating. They get that no, lake effect. Do. I they mean, that, if it, in Buffalo, folks, it's amazing that it picks it up. Uh, I think it's Lake Erie. It picks the it picks it up off Lake Erie. Comes around. Drops it off. Drops it again. <laughs> comes around Lake Erie. Picks it up again. Drops oh. it again. I mean, I just want to point out, as you, you know, you're talking about this yeah. is that run from. Um, for gold, yes, and that's a retracement, right. 38%. Yeah. You know, um, you could call that the uh, you know a linear regression, as in that's a pretty good correlation of where that was bouncing, 38% right off that that those, that pullback yeah. for sure. Yeah. And there's action. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow's down 87. Nasdaq's up 46. S&P's are off 12. Come right back. If you are in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com 
and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 75. Nasdaq's up 46. S&P's are off 10 and a half. Let's go to our man, Lou, in beautiful Spokane, Washington. He's listening on KSBN Radio. you got to love it. Lou, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom and Tommy. Good morning, Lou. I, I just like to get in on this gold. Uh, you were just talking about gold? Yes. Uh, I, don't, I don't trade much anymore. Uh, I'm an old coot. Older than you, Tom. An old but uh, <laughs> back when I was trading, yeah. the, the Japanese used to buy about 10 times as much palladium as they bought gold because they love palladium. Okay. Now, I would assume that's still true, although I haven't checked in many years. But you were talking about the palladium market here starting to perk up, right? Well, the, it, it's the, what's amazing about palladium is that Palladium went to the moon, you know. I mean, this this is this contract, you know. We're trading at fourteen fifty right now, um, and what happened here, you know, you hit you hit a high out here of fifteen sixty three in March, and this has to do with the car suppliers moving from platinum to palladium in the car business, basically. So, once that happened, which happened about four years ago. That's when palladium, I mean, it caught a bid beyond belief, you know. It's, it's a softer metal. It's easier to get out of the ground. Um, but it is what it is, and there's more demand than there is supply of palladium, you know. Right. So platinum took a hit on that, right? Oh, a monster hit. Yeah, platinum. Monster, this is, monster hit. Okay, here's, yeah. what, here's what I'm thinking. If the big money in, in, in Japan decides to go for the precious metals and get out of some of this paper they're printing up by the tens of trillions we should see an up move in palladium and if we do that's going to tell me that you know some of the big money in the world is moving into the precious metals yeah, i mean I, it's been going in you know we got the central banks buying we, we got a lot of a lot of stuff going on but but you know tom it doesn't take too many of the really big boys to side deciding to put, uh, you know, some of their money into the precious metals, the actual physicals. Right. Now, I, I, I believe what you meant to say, though, is that you'd be able to move in platinum, right, versus palladium? No, palladium. No? See, okay. because palladium oh, okay. is what they used to buy. The Japanese. See, when the Japanese, when 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 the big move was on in in the eighties, and and Americans were getting into gold. Okay. The Japanese were getting into palladium. I see. When okay. they buy physical, they buy about, or they used to, they used to buy 10 times as much uh, physical platinum as they bought physical gold. Okay. Now, I, I would assume, so if we see a move up in pal palladium, you know, like, you know, a big move, you know, like I'm talking 10, 30 percent, 40 percent maybe, that's going to tell me that the big money all over the world is moving into the precious metals uh, uh, you know, I mean, most of the money is going to go into gold because there's very little physical pal palladium, right? 
Well, this place, it's hard to tell, man. I, I, I don't know enough about that Palladium market, actually. You know, I, I remember when this, you know, even when Palladium was trading at $220, uh, you know, that the Palladium bulls were saying, right, we're just saying that, hey, listen, man, there's, there's, there could be a shortage of Palladium if, in fact, the car companies move to Palladium, which the car companies did, you know, so. Right, You know, right. as to precious metals, though, uh, well, hey, it is what it is. Palladium's worth more than platinum uh, and gold right now, so. <laughs> might be the new norm, you don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. 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 Well, see, it's, it's been a new norm for the last decade or so, right? Uh, not that long, about, about four years. About four years, Palladium has overtaken uh, the platinum as well as the gold market. Yeah. See, back back when I was trading, palladium was like ninety bucks and platinum was twelve hundred bucks. Yeah. Oh, it's that's you know? I, platinum used to be the king. No, no, there's no, no there's, longer. There's, it seems. there's no yeah. doubt, man. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty intense. Yeah. yeah. You know. Well, you know, it was the auto market that that, that sure. affected that switch. But uh, what I'm saying is, if, if uh, uh, palladium goes back again to being the king, that's going to tell me there's a switch all over the world into precious metals by the big guys. Yeah, I don't think it takes much to to move the metals market because it's so small, really. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And so, yeah. If you go out and try to buy physicals, pretty hard to do. Well, you, you're going to pay a premium, um, but you know, there's 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 plenty of metal out there when you want to buy it. I mean, there you know. There's plenty of there's plenty of gold, but there's not too much palladium. I mean, platinum. Well, it's the, hard to buy physical platinum you in can size. Get, you can get the bars. What you can't get, yeah. and you'll pay a fortune, is that you can't get the eagles. You know, you can get them, but you're going to pay a couple hundred dollars. I bet it's more than a couple hundred right now for an eagle, which is pretty wild. For a premium you're talking about. Yes, yeah. right, exactly. See, you, you, you can get the bars, Tom. You can get right, the bars. Right. But can you get a few tens of thousands of bars? No, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, no, there, there's no. no doubt about that. Yeah. Cooking, brother. When this shift comes, it's going to come like a freight train. I like all it. All I'm saying is that if you see that uh, uh, platinum price take off, that's, uh, that's a clue to me. I like it. Okay, man. You have a great one, a safe one, Lou. Appreciate the phone call. Okay. Well, thanks. Thank thanks, you. man. The, um... How about Bitcoin? Oh, XBT, I yeah. I was waiting for it. Now seems a good time. We're almost yeah. at 8,500. Oh, there's no... Really? Yes, 8,406. I'm, I'm being yeah. a little liberal, oh, yeah. but yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. we were just hovering right. around 8 earlier this week, so right. you got to be uh, happy that? if you're a bull. 7,400 to 8,400. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, we bring this back four months. It was 33. That's hard to comprehend. My it's God. Nice return. 33 to 84. That's right. Right? The question is... How many people went from 20,000 to 33? Oh, listen, there's, there's no doubt. And, you know, when you take a look at this, the thing that's pretty wild is that when you look at this chart, folks, okay, you know, it looks that, you know, this thing's not done going up. It looks to me like it's going to try to, you know, test that 10,000 area. I mean, you know, let's see, is that, it got to 9,088. That swing there is 9,795. You know? Yeah. Because so, it hasn't backed off that much, you know. So. Yep. It'd be a dicey trade, though, buying it at 84 when it was oh. just at 33, right? Like Seriously. a heartbeat ago. Seriously. Because we all know you can At 33, up. thinking it could go to 2. Oh, no, and it could. And it two. goes to 10, right? Guess what? It was at 53, then it went to 33. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I'm no. Trying to catch that falling knife. No doubt. Somebody caught it. Let's go take a look at Amazon out here. So, Amazon. Amazon within, a, within a dollar. Going sideways. Facebook, I wonder what hit, hit uh, Facebook a little bit yeah. up here. So that's up 373. Maybe Facebook is up on the news that the president is all about taking fake uh, info. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I heard, Facebook has to get a plug. I, They're full of fake info and I, foreign intel. Right. I, heard, I, heard, <laughs> I think you were telling me that, that there's a video of Mark Zuckerberg out there, right? Oh, yeah. That's, another, that's, yeah. that's a few days before. But, yeah, yeah. the uh, two technology. Uh, in Instagram, right? I, that, and, I'm not sure. Instagram's Facebook, too. Oh, no, I know. So, I'm I know. not sure. I think that's uh, where, it, where it was all where, over the web yeah, in terms right. of, yeah. Um, the point being that it was an edited video of Zuckerberg. Uh, yeah, right. And just, yeah. Right. It's amusing. Check it out if uh, you want a good laugh out there. But the point being that they kept it up. Someone just bought into the Dow. We just oh went from uh, down uh, 60 to down 30. S&P's uh, off 7, NASDAQ off 31. Come right back, folks.
I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, marks can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrials right now uh, only down 14. Nasdaq's off 28. S&P's off five and a half. And coming this Wednesday. That's right. Yeah, this you got some action for yourself. We and, do. Uh, Mr. Steve Dahl, you'll yeah. be in there Wednesday night, June 19th, coming at you five o'clock for a 60-minute webinar. I know you and Steve are going to be in there talking the TAS profile scanner, and uh, I encourage people to check it out. Perfect time. Going to be a live webinar. Um, really, Steve breaking down everything, you breaking Big down time. how you use it as well, but right. man, he understands that software so well. It's Just talking about um, all the features, the functions of the, stop, the software, yep. and Steve had specifically sent over the three-step process he, he process he uses to identify the market's biggest movers and how to trade them. Uh, should be a great this, workshop. The software is phenomenal, folks. I mean, yep. you, you do it, you, 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 you're still going to do some work on it, but the bottom line is you hit a couple buttons, It'll tell you what's bearish, what's bullish, where the levels are. Sure. Where, knowing where the levels are yep. of where the buying and selling come in is a pretty cool deal. So you um, got some time tonight. You got some time today on Friday, on the weekend. Check out some of the videos if you're thinking about it. Right on the order page. Scroll down here. Steve's put together a number of awesome videos. He's got a hello message up there up top, but then just breaks down all these different features, right. man. So you can get started on that. Get ready for Wednesday's webinar. You'll have 30 days to get used to that software. 30-day money-back guarantee. You're not into it. Just let us know. Right. We'll refund that subscription and uh, encourage everyone to check it out, man. This will be a good webinar. I'm going to be in there, too. I really like using this software, but I always feel like I can understand it a little bit better. 
it's a perfect time. No, I, I agree. There's yeah. no doubt. He he showed me a couple of things just when I'm doing the interviews. Sure, I bet. You know what I mean? I listen so, to those, yeah. Um, and what happens, folks, what inside there, which is really cool, is just one little tool. It's a market breath. And the market breath is amazing, though, because it's, it's simultaneously telling you what S&P stocks are above the profiles or below. On Check the it out. Check above, below. Check it's, out that video right yeah. there. Boom. Stay right there, folks. we got Fast Market coming up next. Now, I'm Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. We'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Yeah, go get them, folks.